Hello, and welcome back to another crime vlog, entry 130. Today we are going to be discussing the Long Island Lolita. I hopefully I'm saying that right. I'm not entirely sure, so pardon me if I am not. Without further ado, let's get right to it. When 16-year-old Amy Fisher damaged her new car, she begged the body shop owner to fix it so her parents wouldn't find out. Joey but but a fuku, <laughs> I hopefully I'm saying that right, who was 35, was happy to oblige. And soon the two began an illicit sexual affair. Teenage Fisher grew increasingly jealous of but a fuku's wife, Mary Jo. On May 19th, 1992, Fisher went to the but house in Massapeka, Long Island. After a heated conversation with Mary Jo, Fisher struck her and then shot her in the head. When police arrived, Joey Butafuku <laughs> pointed them to Amy. Mary Jo survived, though her face remained partially paralyzed and she is deaf in one ear. Fisher and Butafuku both served jail time for first-degree assault and statutory rape, respectively. The crime gained immediate. The crime gained immediate notoriety. Drew Barrymore and Alyssa Molino, both starring as Fisher in made-for-TV movies. So it just goes to show that things don't end well in like a love a relationship with that big of a gap difference. I mean, like I don't even know. How many years ago was this? To be honest, nineteen years. Jesus, she's old enough to be her father or something. But yeah, I don't see any appeal in that at all. <laughs> like, it's like dating your dad. How I don't understand it. I'm not judging it, I just don't understand it, cause like, the person's old enough to be like, I mean for guys if it's with older women, it could be like a mother, or if it's with girls and with older guys, it's like, he could be, he's old enough to be your father, I just, I don't see it, I don't know, so, yeah, I guess that's it for this video, see you guys next time, peace. Love and funkiness. Bye, guys.